Hello, my name is Maria Fernandez Vaquerizo, and I am currently working as an innovation and research technician at the Granollers General Hospital. During my last year of university, I developed a project for my final thesis that is dedicated to improving the management and the care of patients with post-COVID syndrome or long COVID. This condition affects millions globally and presents numerous challenges for both patients and healthcare systems. The title of this project was Estudio de las señales de variabilidad de ritmo cardíaco y saturación de oxígeno en sangre en pacientes con COVID-19 persistente, which can be translated as a study of heart rate variability and blood oxygen saturation signals in patients with long COVID. Did you know that 183 million cases and more than 3.97 million deaths were reported by the World Health Organization due to the COVID in July 2021, and that between 10 and 35 percent of these cases present persistence of at least one symptom? Post-COVID syndrome refers to the persistent symptoms experienced by some patients even months after recovering from the initial infection. These symptoms include fatigue and heart rhythmic irregularities, among others, which can lead to significant impairments in daily life and increased strain of healthcare resources. This creates a multi-phase problem. Healthcare providers face the challenge of diagnosing and manage, uh, managing a condition that affects multiple organ systems, while patients suffer from unpredictable symptoms that vary widely in intensity. The complexity of long COVID demands a comprehensive yet personalized approach to care. To develop the study, three groups under study were first defined. My solution involves the process feature extraction, feature selection, and feature classification. For that, I performed an advanced biomedical signal processing and preprocessing techniques to analyze heart rate variability and blood oxygen saturation levels, levels in patients with long COVID. By examining these indicators, we can identify patterns that reveal autonomic dysfunction and respiratory problems, key factors in post-COVID syndrome. I also apply artificial intelligence, especially neural networks and genetic algorithms to detect the most relevant features from these signals. This allows to develop a predictive model that can classify patients into different groups, those with long COVID, those recovering, and healthy individuals. And several significant differences were found between the three groups by analyzing the 42 variable structure. The variables that were finally selected to be introduced into the classifier were obstructive sleep apnea, power in the high-frequency band, spectral coherence, and the, and the CAT test score. In addition, the optimal hyperparameters for the multilayer perceptron neural network were also verified. So once the optimal input variables and hyperparameters were established, the final neural network model was trained using the complete training set consisting of the 63 patients. Its diagnostic efficiency was evaluated using the independent test set of the remaining 20 patients. Three performance metrics were structured to evaluate the predictive capacity of the classifier, first constructing the confusing matrix corresponding only to the classification of the text group. In the confusion matrix, it can be observed that the groups that the model best classified were the groups corresponding to those patients who have COVID-19. It is no noteworthy that when groups 0 and 1 are combined, the class that is best identified by the neural network is the one that represents patients with post-COVID syndrome. Since as has, can be seen, it's only incorrectly predicts to patients achieving an accuracy of 90%. Through this solution, I aim to provide healthcare professionals with tools that allow for early detection and better management of post-COVID syndrome. By automating the analysis of cardiac and respiratory data, we can help clinicians identify which patients are more at risk of long-term complications. This is where multidisciplinary collaboration become, becomes essential working together to interpret the data and provide holistic care to these patients. To sum up, this project offers a powerful data-driving approach to managing long COVID, combining biomedical signal analysis, artificial intelligence, and multidisciplinary collaboration. Many people have already forgotten about this disease, but there are still thousands of people affected by these conditions who are waiting for projects like this to get closer to a solution.
Thank you for your time and consideration.